In this tutorial, uh, we'll show you how to create a an illustration based on a photograph. So as you can see, I am I'm going to use the Wacom tablet in my tutorial, and uh, I'm going to start by using this reference here. So our target image in the project would be this illustration here. And I'm zooming in. And if you notice, uh, it has really a really realistic pen calligraphic effect. So anyway, uh, let's start by deleting this, deleting that. Oops going to ungroup that and I'm going to delete this whole thing and we'll start with this so what I did here actually the the original object doesn't have transparency in it and if if you're if you're doing this project and you want to trace it it's better to have a faded background or faded um, source object rather than a opaque one so you click on the bitmap and then you go to your transparency and in transparency you go to uniform and you can adjust the transparency let's say I want 69 percent okay. it's also a good idea to lock the object so click on the bitmap and you go arrange lock objects now so that when you're locking the object you won't accidentally you know move the your resource I mean your source object okay. now we already discussed about in my previous tutorial uh, we already discussed about the the layers the use of layers in in a drawing so that it's easier to edit okay. So now, we, if you want to create the layers, you go to Tools, Object Manager, and this will be the layers. And I mean, lay, this is layer 1, so I'm going to, first I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this, uh, this layer, the, the source layer. Okay, so I'm going to double click, or right mouse click and rename. It's going to go source, okay, which is the the photograph, and I click on new here, new layer, and I'll name that lines, okay. So I'm going to separate all the lines, and then I click on new again. I'll put their shade, or no, I'm going to put their fill, so the fill, the colors, and I'm going to put another one as maybe shade or shadows okay so now I have one two three four layers here okay. so the first layer will be source which is actually uh, this is already in the source and lines now for the lines I'm going to move it up the highest layer the very top layer so I click and drag there so my lines and then the shadows that's fine and the fill would be the base color so that would be uh, the second to the last layer okay so we are ready to to uh, to to draw so we're going to the lines if so you click on lines and then if you don't want your other other layers to be uh, accidentally moved so you just click on this one it means to say we're locking these one two three layers so we only have lines the lines there okay so I'm going to start with the eyes so I click on my artistic media and uh, this is my favorite ones but you can also experiment with this or you know whatever you want I'll try this one here and then 
I normally go to the to the thinnest width, smallest width, which is 0 0.03 of an inch. Okay, now I can start drawing. So basically, the principle is just tracing over the the photograph. So we're going to start with the eyes. Okay, it's best to zoom in here. So I click here again, point three, and then I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to draw. Okay. Okay, since it's a drawing, so it's uh, your line should be natural. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw this one there, and then I'm going to draw this. Okay. Now let's just stop here. Now, if you want to make it a black color, you see, you highlight it and click on black. Okay. And if you notice it. It really looks like it's a painted uh, painted drawing. See that all the transparent lines which is, which is really nice and if you go to your view and click on wireframe you would notice that we were not even using any bitmap we're just using all vector image which is great so that when you, once you enlarge it 1000 times the resolution won't change anyway okay so now we'll go to the eyebrows so okay uh, like I said uh, it's an illustration so we'll just you know as much as possible will be natural okay so be natural in your strokes and uh, just going to select that make it black and let's go to the other eye here f3 if you want to zoom out okay so what do we have here so we go there's another eyebrow there black okay so i'm gonna select that make it black okay now we'll just concentrate on this eyes here so I'm going to trace that. So it's a matter of just tracing. So like that, black. So we some more. Very nice. Okay. I love that brush because it's really natural. Okay. Now zoom out. So we have that. And we're going to start with the nose here. Now, like I said, it's uh, just an illustration, so. So it's not really, we're not really making it very realistic. So in here, I also noticed once you're drawing with the Wacom uh, bamboo, uh, the the strokes, uh, you lessen the the lifting of the pen, uh, especially when you're drawing. It would it would have a nice effect. Like for example here, see I didn't lift the pen. It just minimal minimize the lifting of the pen. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to select that. Make it black. I'll do some more here. Black. 